Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 30, that's 3-0, Club 30, to everyone in the club, and none of your goddamn business to people not in the club. I am Ryan, the GM, it is the 5th of August, 2019, gone fairly space mad thus far this evening, here are the players. Hello. 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 I'm Nico. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and I'm playing Zora, the vest captain. Hello, I'm Alex. Now I'm playing Nyx, the Greek embodiment of the spirit of the night. <laughs> but actually, he's playing. Oh, but actually, mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm gonna do Hello. this with this time. Hi, I'm Colin. I'll be playing Lyco, sneaky, stabby boy. It's all good, baby. Also, the embodiment of the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's very shadowy. <laughs> no, that's Batman. I think he's <laughs> really dead. <laughs> I actually thought you were mostly dead. Colin, I thought like you were going to I'm Colin. I'm going to be playing Zoe Quinn. Is what I actually <laughs> thought you were going to say. Uh, I'm, I'm not into that kind of RP. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Carry on, Callum. Yeah. Carry on, Callum. Yeah, what a new cool. movie. Je m'appelle Callum. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Je the the okay. Le rat magique. <laughs> 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 The less comments we make about your rat oh, magic, the better. <laughs> I think I passed that when I was in Brussels. It looked a bit dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do you know what? I'm not even. That's, that's third it. base, that's maybe. You. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's um. <laughs> right. So, in conclusion, Space Mad, <laughs> the Vesk Captain, the Android Mechanic, the Colin. And uh, the it's okay, Mystic. So here, oh. here we are. Um, Colin is my slave name. I'm <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. Raven. <laughs> oh, God. oh God, I said it was a good day. This. <laughs> anyway, here we are. What do you remember from last time? Hmm. Actually, very little. Okay. We ruined the ship, and then we got in a car. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I may, I may be simplifying. No, that's it's relatively accurate. I fixed everything. That's also pretty accurate, except the, the ship. Again. <laughs> ah. Fixed some baby traps. Yeah, that's also true. We did retroactively do that. I'm not going to shaft you at that. Uh, I want there to be bombs on the ship. We did. We did. So. Massive bombs. Wow. I mean, it ended. So, while we're here talking about bombs, the interesting question about language we raised about, you know, womb and tomb and why it's not boom, like the noise <laughs> they make. It's bomb. Mm. How disappointing That's is that? Question. Right? I think it's because English is a terrible language. Yes. So, I feel like they should be called booms from now on officially in Starfinder. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start doing the inspector. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> there is a boom. No, just you have to speak normally, yeah, and except you. A boom. No, you <laughs> speak <laughs> as normally as you can. I guess you'll speak as normally as you can, and then you'll just change all the bomb words to boom. Can you do that without there's losing the? <laughs> there is a boom in the room. You can't. I just <laughs> instantly got an accent. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so. What else do you remember? So you've rigged some booms. Um, Better than rigging some booms. We're on verses, obviously. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. The bad side of verses. Well, yeah. well, not a bad side. Yeah, I was going to say, I there's mean, there's a good side. We, we landed Sunny Side Up. Hmm. I'm easy. Oh, yeah, we did. That'd have been a great name. Sunny Side Up would have been a great name for oh, the yeah, session. Yes, yeah, right. Can we wreck, can we wreck on it? Just, we just call it Sunny Side Up from now on. Let's pretend we did, yeah. Because that is pretty good, right? Sunny Side Up. I might just go back and edit it. I don't, I've already got a name planned for this session. I just have to wait and see how it turns out. Okay. If you can, like, <laughs> angle the session to just do that anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Is this is this where you uh, you know you you write it down, put it in an envelope, <laughs> hand it to a member of the audience? And go now, read out what I wrote. This is all smudged. Why did you write it in lipstick? I don't know. <laughs> Seemed appropriate at That's the time. That's what I, what I had <laughs> Anyway, Rat back in the <laughs> if we're back on that. Anyway, well, actually, no, we shouldn't ever get off of his rat magic. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, in wow. the over 18 edition of session 30, uh, <clears throat> pay us and you can get those files. Um, beyond that, it's yeah, uh, that is true, actually. The lies, <laughs> that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 Actually, what you'll receive is me attempting to reenact it using a lot of different, using my amazing voice acting skills. I would love to hear the director's cut edition, which is Zig the director, um, just revoicing the whole game. <laughs> Quite frankly, um, I w yeah, that'd be that great. That would be awful. Um, okay, I'll get on that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> my to -do That's my winter job. Okay. Excellent. Um, also, hashtag Star Wars audio. Everybody who listened last time when I said this. Oh, thanks, shit. thanks yeah, everybody. Sorry. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, what else happened last time? Uh, I sacrificed uh, loads of shiny things for mm -hmm. the cause. Yeah, you did. Everybody did, to be honest. I think Lyco threw a bunch of guns at the group as well. Um, yep. Three, but, you know. I think a bunch of guns. Oh, we meant to decide but which gun to get back. Weirdly, I, I assumed we'd made that decision. I think maybe we'd be dead, but then I said to think about it. But and then I feel like there was a good one and a bad one. There was the one that fires long range and is good, or there's the non good one that collapses. <laughs> it just sounds bad, well, doesn't it? That's just a similar choice to good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and I don't remember what book it's from either, so we'll sort that out in the future. In fact, maybe we should sort it out now. Let's deal with that as we we go forward Colin. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an armory. I feel like it was probably an armory. It um, must have been because I remember we talked about the fail. It's a sniper gun but I'm going to make you guys do other things now because I'm going to just multitask. So you look for this this gun and I'll deal with mm -hmm. the the golds that aren't yours <coughs> yet. Um, even though I'm still looking for this gun now because uh, I think it's in snipers and that is a very specific. Snipers and vapors. Snipers and Vipers. Also a good session title. Um, shall I just ask the session titles at the start? Is that easier? I'm, I'm knocking them out of the park at the moment, so... Um, although, let's see. It was a laser rifle... I think it was the focused that. rifle Jewel on page 24 of the Armoury. I would say that's probably the better one, because I think the other option was the projectile one, which was the assassin rifle stalker. But that one was less good. Page 24 has both of them on it anyway, so have a look at that and then cool. code it in. Um, might I suggest dragging and dropping a sniper rifle and then just redoing the stats from the compendium? Because that's sure. probably easier for you. Um, I mean, to be honest, I've got a sniper rifle in there already. Just recode that then. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, hold on. How does it compare to Michelle and I? But anyway, you deal with that in the background. We'll deal with goals. Um Right. We'll do it in reverse order since Lyco's at the top of the list for some reason. Uh, next. Five. Yes. This horrible goal. I have it. Uh, do you understand the white space? No, I've changed my goal. Sorry, is that not obvious? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see it. It says die. <laughs> <laughs> but really what it actually says is Keep the buggy together so the party doesn't die. Yes, is what it says. Unfortunately, the font does disrupt that message. Somewhere. And also, we can't undo whatever so magic has wrapped this goal this way. It actually yeah. says diet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Good old Simpsons joke. Um, this is a horrendous mess, and I love it. Yeah. And so is the font. It, uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never change. Um, oh. Less for the better, I guess. Um, <laughs> which I guess is comforting. Uh, I'm also loath to put this nail file into this as a bookmark. That's a terrible idea, Ryan. I don't have a bookmark. Yeah. Right, you'll do. But anyway, so, as I was saying. Mm. You happy with that? And keep the buggy together so the party doesn't die. 
yes, I'm happy with everything here. Okay. Zora. Uh, I feel like if I knew that's my goal, but I'm, I'm, I've got like, I know it's like pretty much over for old, for old shippy, and it makes me sad. Now, but, keep in mind, Versys does have shipyards, right? Versys is a really good planet to be on. I feel like it depends on how quickly we get all this sorted. Well, if we end up getting low. <laughs> 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 low get That's a big question, Nico. <laughs> how quickly yeah. will this happen? Well, it's you guys, first of all, so there'll be five new fractures in the timeline. And then eventually, you'll meet up again. And, uh, yeah, because why would I run one game for all of you? Yeah. 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 So I don't know how that's going to go. Game. <laughs> for losers. <laughs> losers. Losers. <laughs> I feel like for now, base is fine. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that, yeah. I think it's a decent goal. It's also, it's your goddamn ship, it makes sense you'd want it fixed. Yeah, exactly. Well, it may have became a home to others, it was your, like, freedom. Do you know what I mean? It was your new start. <laughs> are you, now, here's the thing. What a good new start that is. Are you, gonna, <laughs> are you gonna change its name when you get it patched up? That's gonna be an interesting thing, right? Comma, if. Let's <laughs> keep my name. Keep his name. Like the eleven and a half hour. Uh, <laughs> the final hour. Maybe my biggest. Okay. Okay. Hour, you know. Yeah. Uh, the final countdown. Europa. You know. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. I've just been making notes. Um, right. Yeah. We'll leave that as is. Zig. Me. Your goal. My goal. Ah, Nick hates me. I know uh -huh. it. Uh, I hope Alex doesn't. Oh, so, so was that Nick's actual goal? It was die, but it was aimed at Zig. Was that what it was? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. Just a that's point. why he's obscured it so that I, Callum, don't get too upset at the fact that he's <laughs> I in the perpetual I, Callum. rage and anguish against. I, Callum, I'm should it. be your new android character when Zig gets killed by Nick's. I'm just trying to target Zig the subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> not Callum the conscious. Yeah. I assume that's how you work. <laughs> that is how I work. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> you know me so well. I suppose I the phrase at least is that, just yeah. yeah. I don't know if I want anybody that's got any form of qualifications into therapy listening to <laughs> these. I, d I don't think we want that. Just b disable all ability to comment on the videos. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, also, everybody watching at home, whoever you are, um, you'll see that the map now moves, thanks to technology. Oh, thanks, thanks to, to our button. extremely thanks technical you. fixing of the... Producer, yeah. Um, our producer. It was a lot, a lot of testing went, uh, and um, right, so R&D. Zig's you know. level 6 now. Um, just oh. So. <laughs> oh man, I lost another level! <laughs> Again? It's fine. I I haven't <laughs> leveled up since level three. Oh god. And um <laughs> I could believe that. Um Right, okay, so what are we doing with your goal, Zig? Honestly probably just keeping it because yeah. you know it's it's kind of it's gonna be on Nix's time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Nix is gonna be very focused on the task at hand as opposed to um feelings. <laughs> as opposed to feelings. Uh, yeah, okay. And then, last but not Lyco. Lyco! That's a lie then. A um, Lyco. I think my... My, <laughs> my uh, current one stands. To mm -hmm. be honest, I think that's yeah, something... Happy with that? It's maybe something that wouldn't necessarily be able to work on at the moment. But, no, I think it's still valid, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like your your backup goal as well. Uh, live. Live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems ongoing. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, right. That's the idea, anyway. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> A pox on you. <laughs> um, everyone that can't see what we're commenting on, I'm not just saying this in general. I'm just saying it targeted. So, um, yeah. Well, we are in the buggy. Everybody got into their uh, their designated sitting seat, as it was a designated standing seat. 
and you just drove off into the blistering, blistering sun of absolute pain and sun. So I love it. Good. So yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we've got Zig driving because everybody agreed that was a great idea. Uh, we've got Nick's in the passenger seat. We've it got. Was. In fact, I'll just move us to the map. I feel like I'll just move us to the map. That makes sense. Let's see if this works. Does it make sense? But does it blend? Yeah. It seems fine. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I like it. Um, so we've got... Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to click though. If I move every day... No, click. Just off their seats just now. Oh. There we go. There is our buggy. Um, it is a lot more contained. There's a, a, like a roof on the buggy that you are in. It's actually protected, but I didn't have animations for that. I think that's, that wasn't the budget. And you're towing these two containment pod things, the escape pods with people in them. Pop you guys in the back. Pop you back on. And Eskit has her, uh, her jank bike. Um, Lance, 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 Lance. Get on your back. Not, not land speeder, fuck. Swoop bike. Speeder space, bike. Space mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this is pod racing. Is that what Zig is saying? <laughs> um, right, so Zig, give me a piloting check and then a survival check. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Piloting. Survival. Badoosh. Alright, yeah. So it's not a terrible start. Yeah, that's that's fine. So I think oh, we'll My just peak lot surviving. I think we'll maybe move her a wee bit further ahead, just as if you are following her. She um, knows the way. I like to believe there is um sand kicking up and it's very, very bright and relatively hard to see. Um, but you all have your cool guy shades on, quite frankly. Um, but now, can you roll a? I guess a d6 plus two. I can. Uh, plus two. All mm -hmm. of I'll just. I do. No, it's just him. Uh, right. So, four hours into the drive. Okay. What's everybody doing? These are uncomfortably crammed in a makeshift buggy, and by makeshift buggy I mean Nix Five's done what he can to try and encase the thing so that it's extra layers of protection from solar radiation. Um and spare tinfoil sheets stapled over the front of it and such. Um that's probably the extent actually of what he's done. And um yeah. So, close quarters, these are all in like sealed suits for the extra protection. Um, you're trailing two just married wedding cans behind you, one full of Alice <laughs> and one full of Shakos. Seems apt. Um, yeah, so, what's the convo exactly? The convo for the convoy? Um. Aggression. Aggression. I kind of want to use astrological <laughs> sense, to be honest, just because I've just scored it, and I mean, why not? Right? Right? I mean, talk me through Zora's process, and what is Zora doing on this four hour drive thus far? Um, what would make you just go, I want to think about space? Besides, no, I'm, being I'm more like, I'm more like focusing on. Well, I mean, the, the description of it, I guess. I guess I'll click it. I guess I'll click it, right? That would probably be a good idea. Um, no, it's have fun, D. lads. Um, the, oh, yeah, yeah, it's probably just something I copied them by accident. <laughs> the D. I guess what he would be thinking about is, like, well, no, leaving the ship behind is a good idea. Mm. Just be. He'd probably be sitting in deep thought, not even realizing he's meditating. 
that you mm-hmm. meditate. <laughs> right. Accidental meditation. I feel like this is an interesting one because I need to look up the spell to see what I actually need to answer. Because leaving the ship, I've said I think last time, A, the ship was protecting you from the solar radiation, uh, but wasn't moving, thus you'd just be in there, not going anywhere. So leaving it is bad, but staying was bad, is why that's a difficult question to answer. Um, But page 340 of the main book should tell us what your spell does. Because you cast a spell. Right, let's see. So, this functions as Augury, page 340, with the effect of caster level equal to your Solarian level. You can spend one resolve point to use this revelation again in the same day, but you still can't use it more than once per hour. Uh, and it is, what, half an hour? Half an hour. So let's see. Let me have a look at this. Casting Augury can tell you whether a particular action will bring good or bad results for you in the immediate future. And then let's skip a bit till it makes sense. It takes intense personal focus and requires you to spend a resolve point. Okay, but I don't think that counts for your ability. Your ability is just you cast a resolve point on top of it. I believe this 75% roll is made secretly by the GM. Question may be so secret forward that it's an automatic success, or maybe so vague that it's no chance of success. If the augury succeeds, you gain one of the four options. Right, okay. Wheel, which is if the action will probably bring good results. Woe for bad results. Wheel and woe for both. Uh, nothing for actions that have neither especially good nor bad results. If augury isn't successful, you get the nothing result, the spellcaster gets nothing result, has no way to tell whether it was the consequence of failed augury or successful augury. Uh, the augury can see only about 30 minutes into the future. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, yeah. I think I got that. So, you're thinking, was leaving the ship a good idea? Is that what you're... Yeah, I fucking I don't, sorry for the swearing. I don't even know how I got muted there. I think it was because I put my heat horns behind my head and I must have brushed the mute, mute, mute button down. I'm going to uh, test myself. Good, that doesn't work. Yes, I'm absolutely fine. And I actually type the whole thing in. Good, that does work. Um, okay, so I need to do percentile dice. Okay. Okay, percentile dice have been rolled. Cool. Uh, was leaving the ship a good or bad idea? Out of the four results, wheel, woe, wheel and woe, and nothing, the result you get is wheel and woe. There you go. So, your astrological spider sense tells you this was good and bad. Okay. And by that, okay. it's directly focused on the next 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. As I said, visibility in this area is not great. You cannot see that far. Um, that's why the map is a certain size. And I never used dynamic lighting for a reason. Um, because that is your vision. But, yeah, so what does this look like as Zora's doing this? Um. Does like space shoot past in your in your eyes while they're just staring into like the cosmos? Um, have you enabled animations, for example? Um. I don't know, maybe just a. Uh, I don't know. A slight aura? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be super apparent. Um, maybe my moat would start glowing. Okay. Something. 
I always forget I've got a moat. Mm -hmm. I always forget that. Yeah, that weird, <laughs> that weird black void thing that follows you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I think we all forget that. I think yeah. if we watch this as a TV show on Netflix or some other equivalent, you know, platform, then we'd all be like, oh yeah, every scene. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had like a small body of water surrounding him. <laughs> yes, a moat. It's actually moat. one to one scale. So it's huge. Um, but yeah. yeah, I guess that would start like pulsing, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like the best. Mm -hmm. Right, yo. Uh, does it is it noticeable to anyone else that you're like gone? I've not paid attention to my boat, and I'm just probably just sitting there with my eyes closed. Um, not seen a word. I feel like it's really on Lyco or Nyx, to be honest, for that. I feel like Ziggs should be paying attention to the road. I'm <laughs> road. paying attention <laughs> to the road. I say loosely. I mean sand in front of you. Mm. Yeah. Sand and rock and rock and sand. eyes in front of him. <laughs> but yeah, Sue. Um... Yeah, does like or next five mention the weird? I think I'm more focused on the sort of the road ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, probably rifle prepped, scanning the horizon, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you said visibility's not great, so mm -hmm. yep. maybe he's kind of squinting around in frustration. <laughs> yeah, like or squint, sounds good. Um. I can hear the grumble. I uh, know. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Thank you, Callum. This is why you're invited to all my games. Just like so you could appreciate. <laughs> I I appreciate you appreciate. I find that yeah. funny. Yeah, I'm on the negative <laughs> list. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So Lyco's keeping edgy, as the kids say. Um, Zora's spaced out. What's next five doing? Um, I think he is kind of keeping an eye out across the front of the buggy mm -hmm. for you know telltale signs of it exploding. <laughs> yeah, like um, how good was my uh, my uh, my mechanics? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a certain amount of um, there's a combination of mechanics I and the quiet prayer. Going on. Which makes sense, right? You're you're a man of faith, after all, which is yes. so bizarre. But I love oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a man of faith. Um, and I'm hoping that the uh, yeah the cycle continues with us in it mm -hmm. so um, once more. I also hope you guys remember that this this vehicle on a map should actually be that. Mm. <laughs> just so she's just know okay. we're in a zoomed in this isn't quite the scale situation here because mm -hmm. um, that is ridiculous I mean, it's the five foot five foot uh, square rule which is bizarre um, but anyway you don't have like a fucking R RC toy one of these um, <laughs> a de bike version deploy the smaller a one <laughs> next you mean we could have more shielding had you not built a second buggy <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah so yes yeah, so like you're you're maybe kind of trying to keep an eye on the buggy um, Zig's trying his best to drive the buggy which is doing fairly well to follow obviously uh, S-Kate's lead on her weird light speeder bike thing um, mm -hmm. and we've got two rattling cans at the back filled with a uh, Alice and Shakos Um so yeah, uh, what was Zig? What's going through Zig's head? I imagine, if you will, imagine. Um, yeah, I imagine because the visibility is quite low, and I imagine SK's bikes not helping either by sending dust flying into the thingy. So I think he's quite really hyper focused and trying not to lose SK's little speeder. Mm -hmm. It's quite um, easy to find so weirdly in the light. Actively, 
All right. Okay. Well, he's actively blocking out mm -hmm. everyone else to to kind of just like I am hyper focused on making sure we get to where we need to go. I've done enough shit to the crew. <laughs> I've killed enough people. <laughs> I've just ruined a lot of days. There's a, there's a bar scene at some I'm point in the fucking, future I'm where Zig grabs somebody up. and goes, I have killed people. <laughs> and they're standing over I've there. I've killed before. <laughs> <laughs> they came back <laughs> different. <laughs> and everybody looks at Lycon and he's like, actually, weirdly, not me. Them two, right? <laughs> I came back on my own. <laughs> not only did I get myself killed, and came back on my own. <coughs> they needed help. <laughs> mm. Just feels very likeable. Um, but yeah. But yeah, no, he's 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 just hyper focused on like not losing SK, just getting this this job done. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this thing is like forty miles per hour at max speed, so it's not specifically fast, um, and it's probably mm -hmm. lucky to maintain that speed given this thing's been stripped to bits and it's running on like an daisy chained battery packs um, which again it's going so you don't particularly want to stop given that it might not go again um, but yeah right I would you like to let's see yeah if anyone wants to have any specifically deep conversations in their car ride feel free to have them now I would say if anybody wants to talk to anyone. It's a environment. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not like somebody starts playing I Spy and then you say set, like, you know, S for sand. Sand. Yeah. Land sand. <laughs> Sky sand. Oh, uh, yeah, there's probably a few land words milk. Trying to sand like milk. Off. Sand milk. Oh, God. Sorry, carry on. I was just saying, there's probably a few moments where Nick Zig's, like, you know, loses concentration, mm -hmm. nodding off over the past four hours, you know. Need something like just flick him in the face. Yeah, I don't think MD does because let's face it, Lyco is trying to not yeah. get shot at. Nex is trying to not explode, and uh, I mean Zora is just just asleep. As far as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Zora doesn't like traveling in buggies. <laughs> ah, he's just relaxed, man. He's just basking in the sun. This is it. You're a lizard oh, after all. <laughs> Laying on his tan, man. <laughs> oh dear. Um, is anyone like talking to like Can Alice or Shakos? It's a lighter oh, shade of blue, I guess. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think we should just have a scene There's of Alice white. and Shakos talking to each other. Well, they're in different. They're they're in different sections, so they're. Can we try and make him do the work. Yeah, <laughs> they're in their own individual <laughs> cans. Did they have comms? Everybody's got comms. I don't. Oh. Every day, except Zig, has comms. Everyone should have comms. Yes. Yeah, I feel like Zig had Zig a comm. Com. I feel like Nyx has a comm for Zig. And ironically, that could be a great communication star. <laughs> 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 I know. I know. I can hear it. I just can't help myself. And I don't ever intend to. So, carry on. That therapy bill just gets cheaper and cheaper, I tell you that much. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so no, he's happy to just fast forward on and just have that quiet, nobody speak to anyone because we'll just snap at each other moment. You know, like a long family car trip. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone's all squashed up together. Everyone's got a bit of buggy fever. Yeah, and this is exactly why Lyco is looking out of the window because if he tries to turn around, it's mostly Vesk in his way. Just a big vesk shoulder, and every time he tries to move the shoulder, it's mostly just Zora's sleeping. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, right. How much time has passed since? I'm trying to think. Resting and resolve points. When do resolve points come back? Yes. After a long rest, or is it like how? Some you can do something to regain them during a short. Yeah, the rest or? is eight hours, but I don't know if I'm sure. Um, I'm just trying to think from when you came back with Shakos. I'm trying to work out how much time has passed since. That is a big question because you know how time is in this Shakos game. With um, resolve. Let me try and find some health and resolve. Resolve calculation. Recovering. Let me have a quick look at the compendium. 
stamina, blah blah blah, resolve points, calculating spending and regaining resolve points. Up to once per day, characters can regain any spent resolve by getting 8 full hours of uninterrupted sleep. Right. Uninterrupted rest, not sleep, sorry. That was my bad. So yeah, you haven't had, I would say, 8 hours of uninterrupted rest. I would say you have definitely had at least 8 hours of nonsense, but it was yeah. not rest. Um, mm. No. Like, I don't know, that's why I've just kept myself at 50, 50 out of 55 HP. Yeah. That's okay, it was mostly resolve points I was looking at. That was a, a key factor. Um, although, Michael, why are you so damaged? I feel like there has been... I feel like I should have get regained more stamina. It's just that I regained it ages ago and didn't update it percentage-wise to match the leveling up. Do I just call it even at 40? And we'll just we'll meet there? Right. He's well, got we'll, less stamina. He's had like at least ten po minutes to spend. A it's fine. Well, we'll just, we'll just call it for a. Do you need to spend resolve to have done that, or could he have recovered that in that time? What's the math here? Is um, right? I don't know if I think he has to. Right. Bump yourself into six resolve points. We'll we'll call you forty for health, and I think that's just that's good enough, right? We'll we'll math that later whenever we care. Um, which will be never. I think you have to to get your uh, any HP. Or that's fine. That seems yeah. that's a good trade for now, so I don't have to think about numbers. Um, and we'll deal with more later. Um, although that's no, okay. All your stuff is visible. I just couldn't see it because I see everybody's tokens and Zig was on top of your token there. Uh, next five. Oh, that's sorry. fine. That's okay. It was that was completely fine. Um, but yeah, I think you see, SK stops her bike. Do you stop the car? Mm, that's a really good question. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We've been we've been going for four hours. So do you stop the car because she stops her bike? Oh no. Also, secondary question that everyone probably thought I meant by the first question: yes. Are you going to hit <clears throat> her? Yes. I think he's going to stop, but a little late. <laughs> okay. So, based on, based on my, let's my say that we get to about there with that, and then you just kind of screech to a, a halt, and you can see she's got like her fist up in the air as the international and intergalactic sign of please stop. Um, mm -hmm. Because, dun, 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 dun. Oh my Jesus. Out of the dust. Oh, I'll have to zoom out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Out of the dust. Come dust bitches. Dust bandits, in fact. Dust bitches. Dust bandits? Oh, oh no. Bandits. Dumb bandits. Mm. So, bandits. for possibly the first time ever, maybe, can That's everyone cool. roll initiative by clicking on your token and rolling initiative? Done it once. And you are all. Thanks for the reminder. I don't know. You are all in the one combat from the start. I know. Oh wait, did that happen with the dragon cave? Oh uh, yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to take improved initiative. I haven't actually <laughs> coded it yet. How how cunning! <laughs> no, seriously, I was. Um, I believe you. Some... Other GMs oh, would just select my token. That's so upset. Um, so imagine. Here we go. Imagine that this has a plus four to it. I mean, I even said, Nico. I know you did. I even oh, said. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Can I edit it to reflect the plus four? Is that something I can do? I seem to be able to. Maybe. Yeah. I hate my life, I man. Made. I am a god! The best one day. I'm sorry. Two to a five! Oh, oh. Just put in a note so I remember to put in later. Uh, right, so you've got. What does that do? Sorry, talk me through it, Colin. It's literally just plus four to my initiative roll. Okay. Uh, so I'll I just... like the idea of getting into combat first all the fucking time. Right, so that makes you 21. No, that's, I edited it to reflect it, sorry. Alright, oh, okay, so it's 17. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, of course that's because you're the 13. I just can't. Wow. Wow. You should just take twenty one, to be honest. Um where you where you point whatever above 
Zig, what was your point? Do you recall it? It was point, point seven? seven. Right, so you are above him. <laughs> the first time that I ever his seems to matter. Um, <laughs> this uh, right. It feels right for me to be shooting first, generally. <laughs> Things to be aware of, right? That's just besides. Um, also, Nix, what you really wanted to do is just right. yes, orbital bombardment. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, if you design your ship well enough, right? Just saying, guys. Like, why not? Um, remote control attached to Nix. <laughs> Nix uh, is a remote yeah. control. Well, why I is he not flying the ship in and bombarding people? Well, <laughs> I have, you, you know how to, to communicate with the ship from distance. Mm -hmm. You just need to have a ship that works to make it matter. Yeah. Um, and that's really the only reason why this is a problem for you, uh, Nico. Okay. So Where is... We need to sort that out. Um, that's your goal, in fact. Like, you're on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all coming up, Zora. <laughs> uh, oh... <laughs> I hate the fact that I didn't click myself. I do want to make the token smaller. Um, I'll do it, it's fine. See when you drag it out, does it become that? Is it that stupid size or all the time? Because I can fix that. It's f yeah, it's four by four. Two by two, I mean. Uh, weirdly, I knew what you meant. Uh, anyway, so Words. let me just fix that. Where do I put that? Let's close all of these things that I don't need. Combat tracking, and then character sheet. Your character <laughs> is <laughs> sheet. <laughs> save token. Save. Right, do you want to try dragging a new one out? There you go. Yes. It has been correctus. Right. Okay. So things to consider. Your buggy has health. Mm -hmm. And so does your escape pods with your very vital people. So fight away for this car. Or get in the way of the bullets with your bodies so the car and yeah, people in their fragility. Well, you know. You know. Okay. I'll just blow up their cars. That's a good point. Mm. So, initiative boil. Ooh. Yes. Now, it's going to be your whole move, or I guess a quick action, and then your move. So, quick action to get out of the car, or your whole move to get out of the car and just be standing outside. I feel that's fair. Um, but it's one of the two. Because you need to like undo the fact that you wanted this to be sealed from yeah, bad radiation. Shoot from within, so yeah, uh, okay. So I don't mind if you use your full move and you just stand one square outside it, or but it's like a guarded step essentially, um, or it's your quick action to go out, and then you've got your full move. Well, if you're giving me the choice... I am actually, in fact, giving you the choice, yeah. It's either or. Then I would like to check a range. <laughs> Measuring in a sandstorm? That man's mad. Mm. <laughs> mm, I cannot quite do it. Uh, so I'll just use my full move to... Skadink. Okay. I'll be in the natural sandstorm. Right now, that is right. Uh, sandstorm. Sandstorm, yes. do 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 Etc. The root. Yes, very the root. Yep. I have, uh, just so that we can be clear, I have opted not to change my rifle. Uh, I wouldn't decide which one I took later, but both of them were kind of <laughs> side grades. I'll edit this. So, yeah. like uh, The damage of one was identical, but the range was slightly shorter. The range of another was better. Uh, but the min damage was better, and the top end damage was worse. So it was like, eh. Mm -hmm. These are these are different I'm options, none. but I'm sure none all of the thing. I mean, yeah, but it's a mess, difference of one, right? It's a difference between a min uh, damage of two. 
and uh, and a min damage of one and it's a double max damage, damage man. difference. Double of damage three difference. Versus 10. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a difference of one, and then there's a difference of two at the max end. It's actually yeah. pessimist. <laughs> Isn't it the fact that it's got penetrating though pretty damn good? Pretty penetrating is cool and all, but meh. Like I feel it gets like past the yard, doesn't know penetrating. Like I'm Solid. actually trying to work out exactly what that is because I don't know. Um, I think it gets past the AC or DR. I think it's one or the other. I feel like it's it would reduces be... it by amount based on it's something or other. If I recall, <laughs> let me just check what it is. Specifics. I'm not using it at the moment anyway. But. Yeah. So it's jammed in the buggy somewhere, apparently. Yeah, where is this? Penetrating. It's maybe something I could specialise in as snipers, but I don't really want it. <laughs> it ignores the amount of hardness equal to the weapon's level, so yeah, that it's like a fucking anti vehicle weapon. Or anti object oh, right. weapon. I mean, that would be quite handy here, but. Yeah. Oh, I, I know what it is. It's, it's, a, it's an anti cover weapon. Basically. Yeah. yeah Which is I awesome. Get it. The idea is that, that, that makes sense. That seems like a useful thing to mm -hmm. have. I knew there was a reason why it was a tier 3 better gun than just a Sharon eye. Do you know what I mean? I actually know if it is better than the Sharon eye. That's the I thing. With this thought, there's about 500 options with very minimal changes. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, it's uh, at the start. It has. Like, it doesn't. You don't really get much difference. Yeah, it's so one level higher than you sure and I think. So it's not meant to be massively better anyway. But either way, with your sure and I, most likely, what are you doing? Uh, I've used my action. I can't do anything at the moment. What was your action? Just a quick action. Just getting out. That was your movement. Swift. That was your whole move. Said... Oh, was it the whole move oh, to get out? Right, I can't, I can't kind of shoot. So. Right. So, what do you need to shoot? You can't just fire your sure now, no? Does it need like a whole round to prep? No, it's ten round, ten round, ten out of range. Or, or I could snipe with it, but that requires full action, basically. Ah, right. I yeah, see. So it's, I can't shoot it this round. So I, okay. I can do nothing else. So what did you do with your quick action? Move? Nothing. It doesn't matter what I did. I just whatever action I used, whether it be quick, full, or move, I used it to get out because it's the only thing I can do. So. As I say, that's my that's my. But you could have used your quick action to get out, and then had movement up to what forty, and then you'd have had. Nah, but I don't really want to move too far ahead anyway. But I thought you said it was like a. a no, no, it was a quick order move. move. That's what yeah. Um, so quick was you the thing is, opening the door if you. Wanted to do that, or move is just basically falling out the door. So all of your move to get out. So you kept your quick action if you wanted it, or if you don't care about your quick action, you use that to open door and then have full movement out. That was your two options. So, oh. I do want to step out of the car. So yes. So I have to move. Correct, but it just depends if you used your quick action to make it easier, or not. Because if you did, you've got your whole movement. I see, but I don't really want to move, so... But either way, they're going to need to move closer anyway. Like, you're going to need to shorten that gap. Nope. Okay. Not when I can snipe. Okay, no, that makes sense. I can snipe this turn, because I've done part of my movement. But when I can... That makes fine. sense. I'm with you on your logic. Zig. Zig's going to get out the car. Um, Shall we discuss him? And him? he's going to use his move. Whole move. Nothing but the move. move. Nothing but the move. 75. Cool. So, I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, he's going to cast kind, a spell. What kind of spell? A level 3 spell. Oh my. A level 3 spell. Talk me through it. A level one. 3 spell. <laughs> move. Talk me through this. I'm going to cast a irradiate. What does it do? It irradiates an area. <laughs> interesting. Interesting, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, I'm going to press the button. Mm -hmm. We can read it together as a fan. Oh. Badoof. Speak together. Right, let's see. 
So I did spend some time looking up what medium range actually means. It's a uh, it's a hundred feet plus ten per level. So what? Or good. So blah 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 blah. And I'm going to plonk it. Oh no, nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Badoof. There. Interesting. So, where are you putting it? Bidoof. Right, two seconds. I'm going to make a, a token for this. Because I feel like we're uh, The only thing I'm unsure about is the spreading... ...thing. Uh, right, what's the... what sizes are we working with? Uh, so, it's ten... I think it's ten feet. Ten what? Ten radius? Ten radius. Ten, ten feet radius. So... Technically it is one more. Oh, jeez, okay. Slightly bigger than I anticipated. Yeah, because you've got... It needs to be, let me change how that actually measures. It is snap to center. Ten mm. radius. Which does include there. Okay, so basically, you're doing medium radiation, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that would be medium radiation for the first 10 feet, and then low radiation for 10 feet after that. Okay, so let me... So it's a 20 foot low radiation, yeah. That much. Let me just put it in. It's like a, tw it's a 10 foot ring. Yeah, you may as well do a 20 foot. That is too big, isn't it? Is that too big? Let me go back to my my tokens. 10 foot, 20 foot, yeah that's far too big. Can you know. make them a bit more like opaque and then maybe we'll be fine. No it's not that, it's just uh, the aura is going from the oh, center. Oh it just doesn't like you do it. No, it's just that's so that is what we're looking for. So, basically, anyone in the green, and technically it's a green square, even though it's a circle. So, where are we putting this, Zig? No, we're gonna we'll plunk it right on top of this dude then. Like there. I'll do. Yeah, because you pick an intersection. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, there, there. Let's plunk it there. You could there get a bit there. cheeky too far, a bit three far. Well, actually, I should probably see how. Well, doesn't it need to be a point you can see? All the space in the world. Um, I suppose you could go there. Could like stick it here. Where? Mm -hmm. There. -ish. There. Yeah. yeah, that's a good three yeah, far. We'll go with that. And then you get, you know, we obviously get the force with the, the sort of like low radiation as well. Okay, let me just have a quick nosy at the spell for us because it sounds interesting. What um, is radiation doing? What is that I'm looking at? Yeah, uh, whatever radiation does. Oh, uh, I need Makes to mark that. Makes your second that. eye. Need to mark that. Oh radiation my. levels at page no 403. Good in the area, exposure radiation only once. Not long in the area. Effects by spell, gas level, lower, medium radiation, oh. and then high level. Sorry, so let me go to page 403. We're learning all this as we go. Welcome to level 7 ah. zig. Um, Don't worry, because that 403 will then point you to the poison section too. <laughs> oh my it's god, funny. that's funny. I was going to say like, the yeah. radiation stance as well. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't kiss people one near me, and then I would radiate them. And I was like, that's maybe not a good idea. Let's see. I was like, why can't I edit my, my spell sheet thing? It's because I was in, I was logged into the wrong um, email. <laughs> oh dear. I think it's the same. Blah, 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 blah. Interesting. No. Alex, I ask you this question. Yeah. Armor. Oh armor. What happens mm. with armor? Good question. Because I feel like... 
you know what I'm going to bring up. So, yeah. let's see, environmental protections. Details at 394, because of course it is, why would it be on the page we're looking at? Anyone listening, we love this, don't worry about it. It's brilliant. Um, well, thanks for the point. Radiation, armor point. protection against low levels of radiation, got to plus four circumstance bonus to saving throws. Um, Armour is 7th level and higher, grants immunity to medium radiation, that's all I need to know. Do these guys have level 7 or higher armour? Let me go check what they're wearing. And we'll find out. Next time on the exciting episode of... This thing we're playing. The game. <laughs> Which you all just yeah. lost. Wow, um, <coughs> wow. How old are oh. you? Oh. Um, I am like seven years old. I'm a twelve year old. Twelve year old. Twelve year old man. Yeah. Sorry, you were a bit robotic there. What was that? I just said that makes me feel weird about talking to online if he's a seven year old. Mm. Understandable. <laughs> seven year old man. Where is why isn't that a thing? Yes. Like she has lost her character sheet. That's what that's what people should do is you know you start you start counting back at one, once you've progressed from, just you know yeah. child man to man man. <laughs> what? Like actually what? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have. No. Yes. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> but also, no. Uh, I just need to remake her token because her token doesn't have a character she attached to it brilliantly. Right, okay, so she's been remade. Good. Uh, but. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out what armor these guys have. Okay, then it work out what book that's in. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It's as I said, we need to learn this. If it's a spell, you're gonna have. Ah, we still in the spell. Yeah, yes. I'm trying to work out if these guys actually <laughs> just would ignore it or not because radiation. If they would, I'd be really upset. <laughs> but you've used radiation. Well, have to be protected yeah. If they're going to this sunlight, yeah. Exactly, and I don't want to do them out of not dying to radiation because that would actually suck if they went out into a, an irradiated zone, all kitted out, and then died. Um, I think they're just going to have the plus four to this save. I think that's it. I don't see them having level seven armor. And I'm just going to make my judgment oh, call on that. I was heavily outnumbered. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll give them the plus four, which is from the low end radiation. Uh, I'll make the save. Right, how many people are being affected by this? So one, two, three. They're probably getting another bonus. I'm going to give them a plus six overall because the car. Oh, yeah, of course. Um. Right, okay. So, and what is it? It's a fort save, yeah. Ha ha. Let's see. Uh, three of them. One, two, three, and they're all they're all plus six. So that is us with a seventeen, and then a a really bad save of a nine, uh, and then a really good save of a what's twenty-two. Right. So, talk me through this. Your DC is 17, right? right? 18? 18. Interesting. Why is it 18? Is that just your level? Um, because the, um, the, the actual save is determined by the spell, in this case, as opposed to the standard DC for radiation. Of course, that makes sense. Good, good. So it's better for you. So we've got... Yes, much better for me. One full fail uh, at the start. So what happens on a fail? Let us read. I was wondering what actual radiation does. I was like, 
It's radiation effects. Um, four or something. Four o. Three, four o three. Honestly, guys, we we have played thirty sessions of this game. Yeah. And we How do we not like know what radiation does? We're this is really just. A, I just feel like about. if you're gonna, there is not honestly. There are so many rules. It's such a meaty rule book, but. I would recommend yeah. it. See if you're going to pick a spell like this. Learn how it works yes. for the time you're wanting to use it. Or an ability, for example. I agree. Because I, I don't necessarily need to know what you guys pick. I don't mind knowing, but I don't, you know, need to. I just feel like, what even happens? Like Radiation is a poison effect that weakens an affected creature's constitution uh, and can also inflict an affected creature with disease called radiation sickness. Radiation dangers are organized into four categories, low, medium, high, and severe. The effects of these categories of radiation are described in table 11.8, radiation level. Okay, so we've seen that. Medium, 17. Right, move on. <laughs> uh -huh. bah -bah. We've seen that. Where's the actual... <laughs> Is that where your information ran out, was it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, okay, well, Ziggy, are you doing anything else besides irradiating people? Irradiating people? Nope. Cool. You have to learn what that does. I will learn what that does and we'll deal with that next turn. Because I'm going to take my turn. And I don't really necessarily know what that does, but let's face it, only one of them saved against it, so... And it was the guy... Um, let me just move this to the map. So move to front and then move to map. And I'll deal Here's with the question. It. Is radiation the accumulative effect? Um, I don't think so. Do I don't think so. For the purpose of the spell, I think it pretty much says it isn't. Right. And it's just like any AOE. You know, you're. I'm just curious because I was thinking like, oh well, if they're if they've been irradiated, maybe their resistance is compromised, and now they're you know more environmental danger or something. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. I mean yeah, I get what you mean. They do get affected by the fortitude poison track, which does reduce their fort abilities. So nice. It's various things do become cumulative. Cool. Yeah. So what happens to the two of them that actually failed? Does anyone know the answer to that? Or does Zig still need to study? Uh, let me pull that up. I had it a second ago. It's okay, because I don't really want to take too long on the moves that people don't know. Which I think yeah. is fair. Totally fair. Yeah. Like, I don't mind taking a bit of time to learn it, but this is complicated as fuck. It's far more complicated than I anticipated. Yeah, but it's fine though, like I don't mind, I do as I said, trying to learn. No, it's a cool move, to be honest, and it also is kind of awesome that you've used an irradiate move covered in solar energy, right? Hmm. Like that thematically feels right, um, so I wouldn't ever say change that though. No. I would just say, yeah. learn it, when you're learning spells. I wanted to take, I wanted to take like that radiation or I sure. Because yeah. it was a cool idea. But anyway, like, nah. I would like to. It's a poison effect. Four, one, four. Weakens the effect of the creature. Yeah. Right, so I guess they're all weakened, right? So I'm just going to pip. Yeah, so they're going through radiation and then they, at each state of impaired and beyond, the victim has succeeded at DC 18, fort save or contract radiation sickness. So basically, they, they go through the constitution poison track mm. uh, for the radiation, and then if they get to the impaired state, then they potentially start con contracting the disease radiation sickness. Right, okay. So well, if each failed save on their round, they'll take, they'll move down that poison track. I see. Uh, so, nasty. are the weakened isn't even the conditions it, so? It's a, it's one of the states on the poison track. Right, okay. So, so we can, the victim takes a minus two penalty to fort saves, constitution checks, and con based DCs. Okay, so that so red pip is the fact that they've failed once. So they are just at a weaker save if they stay in that bubble, basically. Every time the victim attends a fort save against the poison, whether he succeeds or fails, he loses hit points as per on initial exposure. So that is. As per on initial exposure, so. Yeah, it's just part of the weakened thing. Where is this? Um. <laughs> That's in the under the poison section. It's on page four this one five. This game sure does like making you look at a hundred different pages to figure out how it's yeah, going. It, it does well. Mm. Now I jumped to section seven hundred and eighty-two. Um, I feel like saying. <laughs> anyway, cryopike advanced tactical. 
one of my favourite hymns. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what page am I looking for? Poison. Four one five for the Constitution track. Yes. Right. Let's skip to this. Constitution poison track. Right. Okay. So we can minus two to saves. Blah blah blah. Every time saves. This happens as per on initial exposure. So where does it tell you what hit points they lose on initial exposure? In the left section, a character who is poisoned attempts a saving throw after the listed onset, and at the listed frequency thereafter upon initial exposure, regardless of whether she succeeds at her saving throw, the victim loses a number of hit points equal to the poison's DC minus ten. So they both lose eight. 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 Yes. Okay, that's a number I can actually understand. Yep. Okay. So into the uh, that would imply that the one who succeeded also takes eight hit points. Damage. Would it though? Because uh, it says upon initial exposure, regardless of whether she succeeds at her saving throw. Yeah, it does say reg yeah. They just don't take any subsequent um, unless they've actually been poisoned. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, whether he succeeds nice. or fails, he loses hit points. But then we have to look at page 417 for delivery. <laughs> for uh, literally. <laughs> the definition uh, of weather. Um. No, uh, delivery method. Apparently. Um, I will take a, a moment to elucidate for the fan at home the uh, nature of sniper rifles. Um, and this is another section where it's really helpful because there are three entries. Don't you give me your sarcasm? <laughs> um, one of which just describes what sniper weapons are, another one which is the actual sniper weapons, and then a third, mere pages later, which tells you how sniper rifles work. That's necessary, isn't it? Um, there's also sniping as a move, uh, which, I mean, it's basically popping out a cover to shoot a sniper rifle and having a better chance of being able to get back into cover, essentially, is what it is. It's not in fantasy. So sniper rifles, as they're called, essentially, yeah, your second range value, which is included next to the stuff like critical effects or the penetrating value we were talking about earlier, um, your second range value can be only, only be used if you sacrifice your move. Um, to aim it. Mine is also unwieldy, I think most of them are, which means that you can't actually full attack or what have you with them. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. Your sniper rifle, you're only able to take full advantage of it if you spend time prepping. Hmm. So, so now you know. I think. Don't, it's dangerous. I know, I know. <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, radiation thing there and I'm going to just move this out of the way because it's in my way and then I'm just going to make them take damage and yeah that is it that is the grand effect of that overall encounter from what I read because it doesn't linger Yeah the situation is instantaneous yeah. Uh, it also just literally says in the description it doesn't linger. Um, oh yeah, cool, cool. So done. Cool. In that that case then, and I guess the fact that it's that big a level is that ridiculously weird damage bomb, apparently. Yep. Which I still question that you're just saying this area takes damage with nothing to actually shield against it in any way. That's um, which is interesting, yeah. but I guess I don't know. We'll deal with it later. Moving on. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Good, good. Uh, it did take a while, but it's, I think it's still worth trying to learn. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Should go quicker next time. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go delete that off his character sheet to make it quicker next time. Uh, <laughs> go uh, delete Zeg to make it quicker next time. It's uh, fine, we've got the compendium, I can add it back way back. Effects is set by the spirit of Castle level, blah 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 blah. Interesting. I love how it says the save effect is partial C text, and I'm like, oh great, that's fantastic. Um, I wonder if it's actually in the spell description that they do what they do in a save. I feel like that would make sense. Uh, could you expose ones? Doesn't linger. Saving for the resist effects. 
no effects position set by the spell rather than spell DC creatures with an area exposed 10 foot no I guess that still refers back to the radiation rules which do say they take damage regardless that's so bizarre. Well, that's in the poison rules, which I'll refer to in the radiation rules. Yeah. This is just the force just, of the irradiating uh, effect. Anyway, it's damage. fine. We've done it. Wait, 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 wait. I was just going to put this back over here. But seriously, guys, if they could just <coughs> out just arranging their rule book. Yeah. So it's readable. Yeah. Do you know what another bit? Let's just have a small moment since we've taken a big moment. Uh, Stars Without Number is well laid out, by the way. Um, <laughs> thank you to Kevin Crawford for uh, doing that. Um, fantastic book. Thank you. I can't wait to run that system one day. Moving on. Um, <laughs> right. Zig, that's your turn. Done. Michael. Done, done, done. Me again. <laughs> for the amount of time it took, I might as well. But that was a pretty good move, right? So they screeched to a halt. I mean, what if these guys were friendly? <laughs> Fuck him. Like seriously though, right? You described them as bandits. I, I said dust bandits, heart. so... They were only banditing the dust. <laughs> yep. Bandits to the dust. Um, they're now like half fucking melted inside thanks to Zig. Um, Zig's panic going, no, I've got this. Just seeing bits <laughs> of the light and the sandstorm just curl in and fucking penetrate these guys. Yeah, goodbye, fellow travellers. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> dark starfinder, void finder. Oh, dark hey. finder. Yeah, I'll do. That sounds weird. So, uh, right. I need to know ranges, because why would it tell you ranges on these things? Uh, have they been coded in? No, of course Never. they haven't. Um, Never. It's um, kind of annoying, actually. Let's see. I need the range between two guns. So I think I know Colin's range for his gun. And then static. <laughs> oh my. Mm. Weapon already. You will go on my first whistle. That's not bad. And then... Let's... Can I just uh, I pop that out? Minimize that and then let me search for this. I love having the compendium, just <coughs> FYI. Sorry. That was that was absolutely horrible. Um Sure and I dun 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 seventy cool. Uh, tell me eyes, tell me sweet Shirin eyes. Right, so talk me through this. You can make an attack with a Shirin, but you can't do a sniping. What's the difference? Yeah, so the attack would be 70 range. Mm -hmm. Sniping... No, what well, sniping is actually a combat move, so I shouldn't describe this as sniping. Mm -hmm. However, the sniper property means that you can only take advantage of its second and higher range, the one mentioned in the properties thing, um, oh. is by using your move action to sort of steady. Mm -hmm. um, so I could I could have moved forward ten, see if you if you were saying yeah you still get ten plus to move, and then shot at them, but really I don't want to be any closer than I have to mm -hmm. because I have insane range in this thing. Okay. Um. So tactically, putting myself forward as a squishy didn't seem like a good move. No, that makes sense. No, it does. When I can stay back and take shots. Hmm. Right, that does make sense to me at least. Because um. I figure, for one thing, like if I'm out of range, the chances are decent they'll be out of range. And it's far from guaranteed, but mm -hmm. if I'm sense. in range with my not so good range, the chances are much higher they'll be also in range. So I'd rather at least make them work for it and make them move. That makes sense. Uh, right, okay, so with that in mind, um, I should have moved further back. Shit, I'm an idiot. It's okay, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Obviously they're sitting discussing things in their car. That's why they're... You can't uh, hear them. So, yeah, I think... 
this guy here is going to go first. He's going to tell me why. Hop out. He's going to move forward. And then he's going to wonder what range he is. So he's going to just instinctively think about it and know what range he is. And then he's going to have a go at Zig. Wow. What did Zig do to deserve that? I mean, obviously a radiator. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a tactical show on there. That's why you wanted to know the rules. It's <laughs> the exact same as Colin. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's, that's why you were wanting to know the rules. <laughs> I was right I to presume that I'd be in range <laughs> if they were. Mm. A good roll. Yeah. Why did you do that? The poor little Zig. Yeah, take your damage, Zig. I am taking. I've taken my damage. Have you? I have now. Owie. Um, and then. Watch it, lads. It's good roll ride, really. Got to go and fire. Yeah, I know, right? Not what we were wanting. And then. Run and hide. Run and hide. <laughs> Run and hide, boys. Run and hide. Right, weakened on the track of wonders. Does that affect skill checks and rolls and attacks? Just four uh, saves, isn't it? And con checks, I think it's said. That's fine by me. Cool. It was four and con. Let's see. <laughs> I think we know what's happening. Zig. Yo. KAC, I believe. Cack. There's I think you're like 20 or something cack. ridiculous. I'm 20. 20? Yeah. Uh huh. How you so tanky? Is that like reflective armor? That's like good. That's the refractor armor that y'all oh. bought me. Uh -huh. I am forgetting I've not. I'm forgetting I've not been on a short trip for quite a while to be honest with you, but I could probably get some. To be honest, disaster. especially at lower levels, you can kind of go away without needing to. Mm hmm. I mean, I've got level 2 stuff, no, level 3 or something level stuff on, so I, like, I've got like 4 levels worth of stuff to be good. It's nice. Like, I generally just do not get how he's so fucking good at this, like, with that armour. It's... Can you wear your second skin? Level. I'm wondering, hold on. Can you wear on. your second no, skin under it? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But, has yeah, that changed? Sure I mean, you could, I think maybe you can wear it, but you can get a benefit. Yeah. Pretty sure it says something about not stacking, okay. but I think because of the nature of it, you could theoretically wear it underneath. I think it's because mm -hmm. it's the same. I mean, it's the same as any stacking thing. You can't really stack the same type of bonus. Like you can't get two insights or whatever, or two. Yeah, it's just you get the larger. No, I don't one. think he's got that equipped. I don't. No, I'm just scrolling through it. Oh, apparently so are you. Oof. Yeah, so the refractor armour, let's just have a quick nose at that. Not that I'm saying you shouldn't have ridiculous, because it is a ridiculous suit of armour, but... I'm trying to figure out where the the extra three's coming from. Yeah, let's work all that out now. Let's because just, let's just learn how end. Zig's character sheet works. Um, <laughs> welcome to that episode. Um, the one. It's so key. Jealous. It's level six. It's not in this book, apparently. Uh, is it in this other book? Okay, so it's not like a heavy armor in the armory. So is it in the core book, I guess? And remember what, what whatever the max contribution from Dex is, because mm -hmm. they all have a limit in how much you can benefit from Dex. Most of them, to be honest, will be irrelevant for most characters. Like, for instance, mine's a four. I have the highest I could have had at creation, so, which is... Four, See so. the expanse game. It simpli simplifies this where you have a light mm -hmm. pistol, a heavy pistol, a light rifle, and a heavy rifle. And then everything else is a mod you attach, for example, scatter shot if you want it to be a shotgun. Mm -hmm. But it's simplified it right the way down, maybe too far for my own liking. But, it does seem a little too far for me but too. the point of that system isn't to shoot people, the point of that system is to RP with the gun, you know. So that's kind of why. It's a bit different, but still interesting. Okay, level six armors. Isoki refractor suit. It is a plus seven, just as that. Yeah, I can cack bonus, but then max dex bonus is five. 
So. To be fair, they're quite generous considering that. Yeah. Like, so that means it should like be twelve, eight, right? Five. Thirteen? Twelve? I can't count. Twelve. Oh my god, that turned out. So. Should it be twelve? Where is the ten coming from? That's what I want to know. Ten is your base. Dear God. So you should be ten plus seven plus whatever his dex is. Ten plus seven plus three, yeah. So it is twenty. Fucking hell. So it is twenty, yeah. My God, that's so good. Good. I'm glad. As long as that makes sense. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad too. I was like, oh, wait, yeah. where have I put this random plus three by accident somewhere? No, you, you've been good. Um, just... <laughs> We've bought you, in fact, some of the best armor. I say we loosely. Um, I just think, remember, I put you out and be like, people should buy this. Uh, <laughs> this oh, light armor is it, undeniably it noticeable. Yosoki. The only reason I bought it is called it's called Yosoki Fra Refractor Suit. Yeah, it was literally. Oh, I think I've seen the art for that. It's, it's quite a weird looking one for a call. Um, I actually don't think I've seen it. Which is interesting. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm thinking of a different suit. Um, but yeah, there's it's... there's something other. So there's another species name, like presumably mm -hmm. it's meant to be their iconical cultural armor one. Well, there's the vest. The, there's the vest stuff, but yeah, there's there's, yeah, there's brigantine. Um, but anyway, so yeah, no, you're you're not hit with that second one, which is awesome. Uh, well. Right, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there's Kaiton blood suit. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> and yep, we know what's happening anyway. Stop doing it to the poor little mouse. He is just. I will take that. Mm -hmm. Right, and listen to mind meal. One, yeah, that's awesome. And it looks fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> That is really good though. Like I think I was actually considering using it at one point, but I don't think it's high enough level. Hey, Lyco, Maybe I am now. This is against you. What's up? I don't want to say it, but does twenty hit? Cack, yeah. Yeah. Just. Nine piercing. Oof. Oof. That was a resor uh, a resolve point well spent in potentia. Uh, what I actually dislike about this system again is the you can't complete your movement. It, you need to do it, and that's it. Your move is a thing. You can't yeah. move. Although you can get like, various traits that help you, yeah. like move and do X, and yeah. Um, I think it's because you have a move action, whereas in Fifth Ed there is no move action. You just can move on your turn. Um, yeah. They don't define it as an action, which is. The best thing they did, quite frankly. Uh, right, I'm going to zoom the map out a bit so I can see everything. Uh, right, I guess. One, two, three. This guy's going to go here. Is he going to stay there? Let's see. God, what's this like? I feel like other people haven't updated their HP in a while on their combat tracker. Probably not. There's no way I'm by far the highest. Yeah. Um, let me see. I mean, no, I feel like combat tracker hasn't yeah. been updated in a while, yeah. That's good. I've it's literally good. only used the combat tracker to track my spells. Oh, yes. Um, it is. Not... Uh, that I person misses Escape. So that guy moves forward, tries to shoot her, since she's quite hard to miss. And then. Yeah, I think. There's a better type. Here, and then let me work out what you're getting as a bonus here, uh, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Because you'll be getting a cover bonus of some kind. You will be getting a partial cover bonus, which I think is what? Two? Plus two, I think, yep. Yeah, so that's alright. Um, let's see. Come at me. Fouplois. Cack. Better than that. Um, so I missed, do I? I missed. 22 is my cack at the moment. Cool. 
and let me just double check this other thing. <laughs> the rule for hardness takes me to another page. Brilliant. This, it, yeah, yeah, they like that. It was somebody, see, you know, those kids that write in the books in school, and it's like at the edge of the page, it will say go to page 58, and then you go to page 58, and it will circle a word no, that just it's says, like, clearly, Bobak. Um, it's, it's, it's clearly, they've grow, grown up and. Oh, fuck, I've forgotten his name. Hey, uh, R.L. No, Stein. No, no, um. Goosebumps guy. No, 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 no. What's his name? Um, co founder of Games Workshop. Death Trap Dungeon, that sort of stuff. Steve Jackson. Oh, Steve Jackson. Um, yeah. yeah. No. Munchkin boy. Mm -hmm. So. I don't like the page of hardness. As an object, a vehicle has a hardness. <laughs> Any damage off. is reduced by its hardness. So it's just a number, right? That There's no more maths to this. Oh no, no there is. Each object has a hardness number that represents how well it resists damage each time an object is damaged. Its hardness is subtracted from the damage. Only damage in excess is deducted from the object. Blah blah blah. On an average, blah blah blah. Has a hardness. To blah. Oh, that's fine. That is actually that simple. Thank gods. Um, cool. This thing's HP is 14. So the, the buggy has 14 HP, which is still generous because it's been hacked to bits. Um, this did. Eight damage, so the buggy is now what are we want for the buggy. Uh, take away three from that, isn't it? So it'll be eleven. Eleven HP. So buggy's taking damage, and the uh, but Nix is fine. The buggy absorbed it. With your, you've probably got like like metal plating on the front of it with those kind of slits in the front, so you look through. Um, and obviously several boxes for a Zig to sit on, so you can look outside um, and actually see outside of them. That or some kind of bizarre periscope that you've made. But yes, <laughs> uh, that's their turn. Next. You've just been shot at. Patang! Yeah. I will step out of my buggy. Mm -hmm. Quick action or move action? Uh, quick action. Swift action. Are you planning on gunning yeah. them in the Belgium? I mean, are you gonna? Because okay. I was thinking, you've got techno shit, right? Yeah. So, can you put the whammy on their machines? Now, keep in mind, you have used your, you've used five of your moves so far. So, are you moving any more? Because um. the quick actions to remove it being your whole movement to get out. But you still need to yep. step outside, and then you've still got like your moves. What, th what is your move at the moment? Uh, thirty, I think, in my arm. Still thirty in your armor, right? Okay, cool. So you've got twenty-five left. Are you going to move any closer? Um, yes. Yes, I think I shall. Just I'm just checking all of the various abilities I've got now. Too many. Oh, various abilities. Oh, I guess I'm doing <laughs> Various no, no. abilities. No. Only a couple of combat relevant bullets here. Mm. Uh, and yes, swift yeah. actions, everyone. I know, I hear you. I know. I heard it. As soon as you said it. <laughs> There's swift <laughs> actions, not quick actions. Swift actions. Yeah. I'm going to use <laughs> You're not, you're very and keep in mind, Alex, you can you can still be sat in there if you needed to do something before starting your move as well. I don't mind that. <laughs> very important distinction. Well, so it's just step out still counts just taking some of the move. Yeah. yeah, so you you start your move by leaving. The difference is that if you just use your move, you just get outside. If you take your quick action or your swift action to open the door, you then can take your whole yeah. move, but part of it is to get out. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's only so five to get out, five. and then you've still got twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five, and then activate my energy shield as my standard action. Shit, doesn't seem good. I had an idea. What is your energy shield say? Uh, health now. Eleven. That's eleven. You just, you just start like spreading over the bonnet of the uh, the buggy. <laughs> Stop blowing up my buggy. 
Get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. In your pirate armor. Yeah, I do not I'm want to walk in this. The <laughs> that is my entire turn. Excellent. That's Just a good turn. Step up and turn the on. Um, okay. Right, so let's uh, ES and 11 HP. There we go. <laughs> Zora. Okay, I'll swift the hop out. Attunement, my buddy. Uh, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's obvious. Is I it think. going to be solar or photonic? Oh, I, I wonder what it's going to be. In the sunny side of the planet, <laughs> what's it going to be? <laughs> sunny side up, man. Sunny side up. Photon mode activated. So I'll do one, three, four. Uh, then I will use my move to slap on my armor. Mm -hmm. So, ink. And I will shoot this guy. Also, for any that cares, let's just do this just now since I didn't do it earlier. They're creepy. Right. So the uh, eyes, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, that looks awful. No, please. They're creepy, yeah. They're right. very sort of, um, Brett sci-fi kind of thing. Mm. You know what I mean? I get what you mean, yeah. Standard to shoot this guy, the guy in the front of the back of three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Zig's just getting, like, shot to bits with this, like, shiny reflective armor, which is probably the most annoying thing for everybody else to just look at, given how bright this area is. And uh, you just hear this what noise from behind exactly? Zora? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you hear that? Just cackling. The real good note. What's this for? A laser, laser rifle against the front guy, and it's against Yikes. EAC. Uh, you hit. Yeah. Oh my nice. god. Check these effects out, boys. Oh, it's gonna wow, arrive. Wow, man. That's <laughs> some high, high tech shit. Uh, 12 damage, nice. 12 have, damages. That's pretty good. I've never got problems with my damage rolls, it's always my attack rolls. <laughs> yeah, so like, this thing goes like right into this guy's, like, I don't know, shoulder or some shit. Uh, and he looks messed up. Wubble, wubble, messed up. Uh, anything else? Uh, that is we. Not That's bad, not bad. We have done a whole round. Let us take a break for ten minuten, and we ah, will return. Ten minuten. Okay, we'll, we will return. Ten minuten. Right we'll run in ten minutes. Bye bye. Back. Bye, bye. Back to the bye show. everybody. Bye. Who is listening. We'll see you in part two. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.